Good morning, Westfield High School. Today is officially Friday, November 4th, 2022. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, WHS, and welcome to BDTV. I'm Gabe Dion. And I'm Paul Tillyu. There will be a Coding with a Cause Club meeting today after school in room 131. They will work on the cybersecurity competition and will learn website programming. No experience is needed. You want to find out how you can make one penny worth 200 bucks? Or at least fool your friends into thinking you can turn penny into pure gold? Then come to the Chem Club on Tuesday where they'll practically, practically be minting money using alchemy. Be quick, there are limited spots available. If you're interested in participating in this lab, please join the Google Classroom with this code, 6M73NZK. All members who plan on attending must have the lab safety contract signed before they can perform the experiment. The next mock trial club meeting will take place on Monday immediately after school in room 244. Any questions, see Ms. Legan. If you're planning to attend the HBCU College Fair Day trip, Please be aware there is a mandatory meeting on Monday at 3 p.m. right after school in the library. The Senior Tech Buddies will have a meeting in room 130 on Monday to discuss the next big volunteering events and to answer any questions members might have. New members are always welcome and there will be snacks. Come to the Pause for a Cause meeting Monday right after school in room 159. The club runs fundraisers for animals in need at St. Hubert's and elsewhere. Come to Chipotle this Saturday from 4 to 8 p.m. to support the Westfield High School Choir Department. Make sure to share the flyer when you're making your purchase. November can be a busy month. The folio application deadline has been extended to November 12th. Visit their website to apply and check out more information. This is the last call for lost and found clothing. Anything remaining in the bin in the main lobby will be donated. There are coats, jackets, sweatshirts, and more. Please check the bin today. Attention all freshmen. Transition outreaches are today. They'll be discussing the concept of self-care, so take care of yourselves and go to your designated locations. Leaders, be ready. The next No Place for a Hate committee meeting will take place on Monday after school in the library. The committee will work on a number of upcoming projects, and all students, staff, and parents are invited to stop by. The deadline for the PSA Palooza contest is Monday. Please email your PSA videos to Ms. Hauser at lhauser at westfieldnjk12.org. Monetary prizes will be awarded to the top three entries. The flyer with all the information can be found on the high school website under the community flyers. Hey Gabe, guess what time it is? It's time for sports, baby. Mike? Good morning, WHS. I'm Michael Cerrotti and here's your BDTV sports update. This week, both the boys and girls cross country teams placed first at the Last Chance Invitational. And congratulations to sophomore Emily Kapuczynski, who set a school record on the course in 20 minutes and 38 seconds. It's a busy weekend for the Blue Devils, and it starts today at 2 with the field hockey team traveling to Montclair for the sectional quarterfinals. At 4.30, the girls volleyball team hosts Bayonne in the semifinals of the sectional tournament. And at 7, the football team is also in the sectional semis as they travel to take on Union City. Tomorrow at 10 a.m., the gymnastics team heads to Hillsboro for the sectional championship. At 1.30, the boys cross country team will compete in the group four championship. At two, the boys soccer team plays Hunter and Central at Keller for the sectional championship. And at 2.30, the girls cross country team will run their group championship. Finally, at six o'clock tomorrow, the girls soccer team has their sectional championship at Wachung Hills. Now, let's take a look back at this week's top plays. At number three, Sonia Olsen crosses the finish line in second place, leading the girls to cross country team to a sectional championship and setting a school record. At number two, Emma Schwarzenbeck lifts the penalty shot into the top left corner for one of her two goals against Livingston. And finally, the top play of the week. Good blocking up front gives Trey Brown time in the pocket. He throws to the end zone where Pete Meixner goes up and over two defenders. And here's another look at his incredible 27 yard touchdown catch. That's all for today's sports report. Back to you, Paul and Gabe. Thanks, Mike. And that's all the time we have for today. Speaking of time, don't forget to set your clocks back this weekend. OK, Paul, relax. If you'd like to submit an announcement to be read, please visit the BDTV page on the high school website. Gabe, make sure you follow us on Instagram at WHSBDTV. How do you do? Have a fantastic Friday. Have a great weekend, WHS, and go Blue Devils.